During the sales period, people intensify their search for deals and promotions to discover special gifts at a great value. To meet the increasing demand, stores and businesses meticulously prepare, offering irresistible discounts and exceptional shopping experiences, making it truly challenging to stand out in the crowd. What if I told you there's a proven and effective strategy to make your business stand out among the competition, especially during this season when potential customers are flooded with offers? Welcome back to the official PDF Element YouTube channel. I'm Chris and in today's video I'll be sharing a strategy that will not only enhance your business sales but also will reflect your authentic concern for your customers. The strategy I want to talk about in today's video is event-driven marketing. Event-driven marketing is a strategy that involves adjusting marketing activities based on specific triggers like customer actions or significant events like holidays. The idea is to provide personalized and timely messages or actions to enhance the overall customer experience. Imagine this, a customer purchases a coffee maker from your online store and instead of flooding their inbox with generic offers, you send them exclusive discount certificates for purchasing ground coffee to enjoy with their new acquisition. Your customer will not only be satisfied with their purchase, but they will also sense that your store truly understands and addresses their needs. This approach is incredibly versatile because there's an infinite number of events you can use to engage with your customers and motivate them to make purchases by offering benefits such as loyalty points, free shipping, discounts, personalized products or gifts. Sounds simple, doesn't it? But there's a problem. Sending simple emails every time you want to engage with your customers not only fails to capture their attention, but also increases the risk of your messages ending up buried in your customer's spam folders. The solution could be create visually appealing gift certificates, but this poses another challenge. Personalizing every certificate for every customer and situation can consume more time than we are willing to invest. This is where PDF Element comes into play. With PDF Element, you can not only create templates for certificates, but also you have the flexibility to customize them easily. Whether it's for offering gifts, discounts, loyalty points, or other promotions you may have in mind. Let me show you how to do it. The first step is to create a blank document and choose a size for our certificate template. But what are the appropriate dimensions for a gift certificate? Well, it depends. There are three commonly used sizes for creating gift certificates. The first option is 400 by 600 pixels. Though this size seems small, its compact nature ensures quick loading, making it ideal for straightforward gift certificate layouts. The second option is 800 by 600 pixels, while offering more space for image design compared to the previous size, it's worth noting that being larger, it may take longer to load, particularly on slower internet connections. And the third and final option is 1024 by 768 pixels. This full screen size provides the maximum space for design. Nonetheless, it may not be optimal for smaller screen sizes like smartphones, where the image may not adapt well to the screen sizes and you could lose some details. Considering that most people check their emails on their mobile devices, I personally would recommend using a resolution of 600 by 400 pixels. This size ensures your email will look great on any smartphone and quick loading times will help ensure your emails aren't overlooked. Regardless of the size you've chosen, the next step is to convert the measurements to centimeters, since PDF Element uses this measuring unit. In my case, I used a web application to convert the measurements to centimeters. And these are the results. Continuing from where we left off, as soon as I input the measurements thanks to the document preview, we can see that was once a sheet, now looks more like a card. Let's jazz up this plain card with some holiday vibes. I'll use the add image tool to insert a Christmassy background along with my store logo so that customers can immediately identify who is sending the card. That looks pretty perfect. Now using the add text tool, I'll insert titles, labels, and key information into the template. Afterwards, using the formatting tools, I'll ensure that everything maintains a consistent style. This is starting to take shape nicely, isn't it? But there are still a couple of things that we need to do to ensure that we can use this template to create all the gift certificates we need for this season. Using the text field and date field tools, I'll add editable text fields to fill in with the unique information that each card should have, such as recipient's name, certificate number, expiration date, and even the discount amount or the offer type. 
For now, I'll assign a self-descriptive name to each field and fill them using provisional data. After that, I'll select all these fields and using the properties option in the context menu, adjust their formatting properties to match the font type and alignment according to the certificate design. And that's how my certificates will look. Now let me show you how to use this template to create as many personalized certificates as needed. First, I'll clear the fields, preparing them for my customer's real information. Then using the workspace in the Organize tab, I'll copy and paste my certificate to create multiple copies. Now before we start filling in certificates, let me explain something first. As you can see, when I made copies of the certificate, the fillable fields were duplicated with the same name. This is an advantage, but at the same time, it's a small drawback. The input fields in a form are like boxes where you store things. When multiple fields share the same name, they act as a single field, showing the same content. This comes in handy to quickly fill in details like expiration dates and discount amounts for gift certificates, ensuring a consistent promotional offer that expires on the same day across all certificates. However, to enter my customers' names and certificate numbers in these fields, I'll need to rename them individually. Fortunately, renaming a field is quite easy. Just double click on it and within seconds, you can change its name from the properties window. Okay, that's great. The fields are now renamed, which means I'm ready to fill them with my customer's information. The next step is to convert each certificate into an individual image so I can send them via email. Fortunately, using the PDF element conversion tools, we can easily save each page of our document as a separate image. And that's pretty much it. All that's left to do is send these certificates to the recipients. Until recently, EDM strategies were something only large companies could afford as there was no quick or easy way to create personalized gift certificates. Fortunately, the versatility of the forms feature combined with the user-friendly workspace of PDF Element makes creating gift certificates extremely quick and easy. This allows you to take advantage of one of the most effective marketing strategies, regardless of the size of your business. Well, that's pretty much everything when it comes to creating gift certificates. Or is it? Before saying goodbye for this video, I want to give you a little tip that could make the process even easier. Have you heard of High PDF? High PDF is a simplified online PDF editor that not only provides a wide range of tools, but also features a template library you can freely use for your projects. This includes some gift certificate templates. To download them, all you have to do is go to the official High PDF website, navigate to the templates section, enter the word voucher in the search bar, and choose a template that suits your liking. After selecting a template, just click the download button in the bottom right corner of the window and designate a location for the file. Once the download is complete, you can open the PDF using PDF Element to easily customize the template according to your needs. Thank you for staying with me until the end of this video. If the video was helpful to you, I would appreciate it if you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. I will continue to bring you more videos with many tips and tricks to make your work a lot easier. You can also take a look at the rest of the videos on this channel where there will be lots of other tips and tricks for you to learn from. Have a good day and I'll see you in the next one.